So here I'm going to show you how to finish off my aspic of wood pigeon. So I'm just going to show you here, this is all sent to you, this is an aspic or a jelly of wood pigeon. Uh, in the bottom you've got some confit duck in there, it's confit duck leg, and then we set it in a consomme flavour from the pigeon and the duck. There's some little poached quails eggs in there, a little fresh herbs, lovely lovely uh, aspic or jelly. Now this one, you need to make sure it's out for 15 or so minutes before you eat it because it's going to taste way better when it's up at room temperature. Um, Garnishes with this, we've got a little caramelised uh, onion brioche here. Uh, this is going to go in the oven for about six minutes in the paper. So let's get that in there now. There we go. And then I'm just going to show you the other items. We've got a herb salad here, a roasted pigeon vinaigrette, and also a little bit of truffle butter, which is going to pop in top of that brioche. Uh, on top of that bri brioche, sorry. So we'll be back in about five minutes. I'm going to show you how to finish this off. So brioche is all ready there. Set that on the side. Undo that, and then I'm going to put a little bit of rapeseed or olive oil on the top of it just to give it a lovely shine. A tiny bit of mold and salt. There we go. Also, just on your little aspic, a little bit of rapeseed oil on the top, and take a spoon and just spread that oil, and this is going to give it a really nice shine. Make sure that's all completely covered in. And then a little bit of salt again, just on the top of the aspic. That's, that makes that flavour really pop when it goes in. Then put that side of your dish. Herb salad now. We'll take a little bit of the pigeon vinaigrette. This has got reduced pigeon stock in there. A little bit of rapeseed oil, sherry vinegar. So on top of your salad, don't be shy. A little bit of extra seasoning and then just make sure the whole salad is nice and dressed and then you can either just plonk it on the plate or take it between your hands and just work it in together into a nice pile, turn it around and then just carefully onto your plate like so. Give that a little rearrange. There we go. Then we're gonna loose it off a few little pieces on the top. That's got lovely peppery, got some watercress in there, got purple basil. So really lovely flavours to go with our aspic. Then we're gonna take our brioche, just pull it a little bit now just to handle it, and then just with a serrated knife. Gonna cut in. Same on the other side, like so. And then I'm just gonna put my butter. Just take the edge of the knife just to do that. And put that in. Look at that. Very nice. Sit that back of there. Little dressing on the top tiny bit of seasoning on that butter and you are ready to go. Eat that piece of brioche, that's your little treat for plating up. Then straight to the table, that butter's gonna melt into that brioche and then you can little take a spoon of the aspic, eat your brioche and the herb salad. Enjoy. I've got a lovely chunky fillet of cod for the main course now. So look at that in there. We gently salt the cod first of all, um, and then we rinse it, and that makes it nice and firm. So nice piece of cod in there. That's gonna go in the oven for about eight to 10 minutes. So let's get that in. We've coloured it off on the top, so you don't have to muss about in the, in the uh, pan as well. Then we've got a nice bit of gem lettuce, which we've charred on the top, lovely smoky flavour. That's just gonna be like six, seven minutes in the oven, no longer. Then. The rest of the garnish is potato cracker, which just eats one to two minutes in the oven, just to re-crispen it up again. And then dressings, little shrimp dressing here, so brown shrimp, lemon, rapeseed oil going through. And then this sauce, white mayonnaise looking sauce, this is pill pill. So this is made with the cod, it's almost like a mayonnaise, but it's very, very high power to make this beautiful emulsified mayonnaise, which is flavored with garlic and lemon. So we'll be back about 10 minutes or so, we'll plate the cod up with a gem and the pill pill sauce. So, got my plate there, ready for the cod. Just give that a little bit of a wipe. You don't want it too hot, because of course it will make the mayonnaise cook and that split eventually on it if it's too hot. So, just warmed up on the plate. Uh, let's bring out our cod, lovely fillet of cod there. 
and that's our lettuce. So, what we want to do? Let's first of all give your pill pill a stir and then take a nice spoon of that. Beautiful texture on there, lovely and rich. I'm just going to get a little bit of a palette knife, chefy swipe on there. So, there we go. And then, what it's just do, take a spatula for your cod. Just in there like so, give it a little drain. And let's get our cod just sitting on there. Then, let's get our gem. I'm just gonna sit that just to the side. And then let's finish with a shrimp. So, some of those lovely little brown shrimps over the top of the cod and the lettuce and of course some of the dressing as well and then let's get the rest around like so there we go a little bit of that dressing all the way around a few more shrimps make sure you get all of them cracking on there and then let's get our potato cracker that's just been in the oven just to crisp up I'm just going to get all of that going on there like so, a little bit more in there. And there we go. So that is my beautiful fillet of cod, sauce, pill, pill, potato cracker and the shrimp dressing. So this dessert for you is a pressing and nectarine set in a lovely lemon verbena syrup. So I think it's the first dessert we've ever done with nectarine. So yeah, we'll go first. Just taking my aero out of the freezer. This is white chocolate aero dusted in lemon verbena. Really, really nice. So let's get plating. All we need to do, take your pressing. This has just been out, just coming up to room temperature. Be careful with it, of course, because it will be very, very delicate. You see, I'm just gonna ease that clean film up there and then let's just put that slightly off center on our plate pull the clean film up around it look at that all those layers of nectarine just lightly set what we're going to do next take our lemon verbena mousse i've just cut the end off my piping bag and i'm going to pipe a nice little all in one place nice little pile of fat lemon verbena mousse then some raspberries, beautiful, fat, chunky raspberries. Look at them, lovely. We'll get all those on the plate, like so. And all that's left, your verbena. Make sure it stays in the freezer till last second. Then you get that lovely little crunch from the white chocolate. Balance it, good bit on there. I am very, very happy with that. So, that is pressing the nectarines, fresh raspberries, verbena mousse, white chocolate arrow. Hope you enjoy it.